Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Game Feed. My name, of course, is Panzo6. You can call me Derek. And on Monday, I created a video. The video is about Activision versus the developers of a game called Orion, called Trek Industries. Now, I created this video because I saw this uh, small development team getting DMCA'd due to weapons that looked similar to something that was on Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. Um, and then, you know, I read the article, and I, you know, let me, like a ton of other people have probably read this, just thinking, well, this is Activision flexing their muscle because, you know, this is a small development team. Well, I've been gone since Monday, uh, and I've had a lot of time to reflect on this. Um, you know, as you guys know, I've been in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, for job interviews. And the only thing I've had to do is look at the news via, you know, Twitter, Reddit, you name it. And it turns out, you know, I want to go back on everything I said in that video. Just due to the fact that <laughs> it's really shitty what the developer did. Um, not only was these claims from Activision legit, uh, the actual artist for Dundee's <laughs> so-called not stolen guns got fired immediately. And the guy, I forget his name. What, what is his name? Uh, Asshole McGee. Asshole McGee. That's what we're going to call him. His name's David. Uh, let's see. What's his for last name? We need to find Prassel. David Prassel. I'm sitting here trying to read a couple things because I've been trying to catch up because I really want to catch talk about this. So David Prassel, we'll for now on call him Asshole McGee. Um, <laughs> this guy is straight up lied. Apparently this company is really, really shady. This is not the first time they've been in trouble for stealing assets or uh, anything on that line. Um, this game, Orion, has been changed three times, apparently, from a... Uh, um, Orion Dino Beatdown, Orion the Prelude, and I think uh, Orion Dino Rampage, which the game I played was Orion the Prelude, um, and I bought this about a couple, maybe three years ago, I think, I don't know, It's it's been a long time, I think I got it like uh, from a Humble Bundle or something, um, and I could be wrong, I'm sorry, but it was really, really cheap when I bought this, and you know, I played it, it wasn't that bad. Um, it wasn't that good either, but apparently this guy and this whole company is really, really fucking shady. Um, and the guy doesn't like to claim that the problems are from him. Instead, he apparently likes to fire his team members. They don't like to pay their team members. Um, and it's so something that's really, really ridiculous to the point that if this game is still in early access or this developer you know, wants to make more claims like this and, you know, start a shit storm on, storm on the internet or anything like that. I, I fucking boycott this whole, whole company. Uh, not only did I stick up for this, well, this team of people. I'm sorry, I'm really pissed off. <laughs> and as you know, whenever I talk and get pissed off, I tend to stutter. But anyways, you know, I feel like I was one of the first people to make a video on this, and I took up for this person. I'm a small channel. I'm a really small channel. And the video got up to 200 some views with 10, with 11 likes and 10 dislikes. And there's a lot of argumentation, like different opinions on it. And, you know, I got to read these, and, you know, they the people that was against this uh, group of people showed the evidence, which the evidence is clear. These guns are pretty much stolen. They're one-for-one -one models. Maybe some slight differences, but they are Call of Duty weapons. Um, it's ridiculous. I took up for these people. I, you know, it, I get tired of seeing these small studios getting fucked. And, you know, same with YouTubers. We get fucked all the time. But, <clears throat> it's fucking retarded. I mean, I don't understand. You know, I took up for these people. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, what I'm saying was going to help out. You know, like I said, I don't only have like 150 subscribers, but, you know, I took up for these people. It turns out they're a bunch of shady assholes. David Prassel 
is the main one. Asshole McGee. Um, <laughs> and he's went back and forth on us, even going as far as stating if anybody makes fun of this or causes problems on YouTube or whatnot, that he'll actually go out and sue people, take them to court if they, you know, called him out on his shit. David, Prassel, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself right in the ass. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Just you and your trick industries, you guys are fucked. I, I, this is going to ruin you as a company. You know, going back and forth, being completely shady, firing a artist instead of letting them recreate the actual things. You, you're in charge of this team, right? You're in charge of the development of this game, right? You know, this is me talking to you at this point. You know, I made this video. <laughs> Again, I'm a small channel, but I took up for you. Took up for your team. And yet it makes me look like a fucking jackass. It does. It made me look like a total fucking idiot. And I've had almost three days, three or four days to think about what I'm going to say. And it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. And I hope this gets to you. And if you want to take me to court, then go fuck yourself. You and your fucking team of assholes. Probably not your team. Probably a bunch of good people. And you probably fucked them. But Trek Industries, that, that's, it's ridiculous. That's fucking retarded. So any game you guys will need support on, I'm definitely not going to, you know, support it. Now I might as well just start a hashtag fuck Trek Industries. I mean, what are you going to do? Change your company's name again? Change the name of your game again? Fire more people? Threaten people on Reddit or YouTube or whatever saying you're going to sue us? Go for it, buddy. Just go fucking for it. I'd love to see you try that. <laughs> I felt like a jackass these last three days after I made this video, because you know, I, you know, my, my opinion, I like to look out after these small developers. I like to see small games make it, but the shit you guys pulled—that's ridiculous. And apparently, this is not the first time you've tried bullshit like this. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. This is really, this is really ridiculous because you know. <laughs> I would like to say nice things about this studio. And I really meant it when I said it. When I read that for the first time, um, you know, I you know, I made the video. I, th I think I was probably one of the first people to make it. Then all the other people started making it, which I'm not saying I'm the first one, but, you know, I feel like I was one of the first people to make one of these videos for that, taking up for this company. And now here I am on Thursday, almost Friday night, well, Friday morning, making a video, apologizing to the people who watch my videos because I look like a jackass. So, I mean, you Trek Industries, whatever, I hope your studio shuts completely down. I hope the people... That's a part of your studio. If they're good people and honest, I hope they find good jobs. But as for you, I hope your fucking studio goes completely downhill. And you deserve every single thing you get. You lied to everybody. You cheated. You stole. And here you are. Here you are. You just just go go fuck yourself, man. And again, my name is Panzo6. Thank you for watching this. I'm sorry I'm super pissed off about it. And if you like this, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Again, I love you guys. And um, anything that I said in that previous video, I am sorry. I, I apologize. I take all that back. And, you know, I, I next time I make a video like that, I'm going to double check my facts because, you know, I should, probably shouldn't have just jumped a gun expecting these people to be honest. And that's one thing, you know, I look at the best of people. I want to see people, you know, I want people to be honest. I want people to be awesome. I like small indie devs, but this is bullshit. This asset stealing, and I hope Activision, you know, shuts them down. That's my opinion.
And I'm sorry, guys, if you disagree with me. Uh, and I'm really happy about uh, all the comments we got on that last video, all the views. Um, you guys liking, disliking, that's cool because it shows you guys have different opinions on this stuff. And, you know, I love seeing that. So I highly encourage that. And, you know, even if my video gets 10,000 dislikes and, you know, that's fine. But as long as you guys are having, you know, a good discussion down there, that is cool. That is totally cool for me, guys. But again, again, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Help this channel grow. And if you want to, send this over to David Prassel or Assy McGee, whatever the fuck his name is. You know, that's... That's all I have to say about it. See you guys.